So already you got uh, an idea what we are going to discuss. What I would like to explain. Already you have guessed right. So the external morphology of human heart. Today's our topic is the external morphology of external structure of human heart. By the way, heart is located at the left thoracic region towards the left lung. At a particular point called mediastinum at a cardioid notch at cardioid notch the heart is located. Heart generally looks like this. Heart is uh, quite different which means functionally it is different. In mammals, if you compare with mammal heart with reptiles, if you compare the reptiles heart with fishes, it's quite different. Generally heart has some important features, especially external heart. Let us learn features of external heart. You know very well heart helps in the process of transpiration from various parts to various parts, which means heart is able to pump various substances from one particular place to another particular place. It's because of, due to presence of blood vessels. What are the blood vessels which are appears in external heart? Let us see. There is a superior vena cava that is called as superior vena cava, the first major blood vessel. And uh, there is one more blood vessel here, like this, it appears. That is inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. That is lower blood vessel. And you can see this red color blood vessel, iota, which is our largest blood vessel. You can see here the carotid artery. Carotid artery. And this one, pulmonary artery, pulmonary arch, which contains pulmonary artery. And uh, let us mention remaining blood vessels, the superficial blood vessels on the surface of heart, which are uh, uh, coronary, coronary, coronary. Coronary arteries and uh, the red color blood vessels, coronary veins. And uh, let us see the chambers of heart. Here there is uh, right side. If you stand like this, if you stand like this, this is right side and this is left side. This is right side and this is left side. So, what I mean on the right side. Right auricle will be there. On the right side, you can see the right auricle. On the left side, you can see the here exactly. Left auricle will be there. Left auricle has a major blood vessel called pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins are opened into left auricle. On the left side only, left ventricle is present. Left ventricle is present. Below the left auricle, left ventricle is present. Now here, below the right auricle, right ventricle is present. Right ventricle is present. So, this is the systematic position of external heart, external features of human heart. The size of human heart is about one fist, your one fist that is your size of heart. The blue male heart rate is 1,70,000 kilograms, blue male heart rate. So the blue male has heart rate about 1,70,000 kilograms. And it has same structure like this, same parts like this. 
and where is normal human heart beat suppose the human who has 40 years of age his heart rate will be 289 grams in males 284 grams in females so 289 to 284 284 to 289 grams uh, heart rate is seen in the person who is now 40 years of age and whereas we see the heart rate in um, grandfather grandmother or older people those has 61 to 71 years of age they will have uh, 380 grams to uh, 389 grams of heat so the heart rate is completely different based upon the age continuously the heart grows from the childhood to up to 61 to 71 years of age and if you see the functions of these blood vessels and the chambers of the heart heart is externally protected by a membrane so what are these membranes called externally the heart is get protected by uh, pericardial membranes pericardial membranes so the outermost layer is uh, uh, visceral layers and a visceral layer and a viscous layer is present and there is a mucous membrane which gives protection to the outermost surface of the heart whereas uh, below the visceral layer you can see the inner membrane which gives protection to the heart so like this there are some membranes if you see the transverse section or longitudinal section of the heart there are some membranes which are inner membranes called uh, inner pericardial membranes we can call them as there are three uh, pericardial membranes seen in the heart about them uh, we are going to see in the coming classes in the internal structure we are going to see so uh, here superior vena cava which collects deoxygenated blood from upper parts of the body inferior vena cava collects deoxygenated blood from lower parts of the body Iota which carries oxygenated blood towards the body organs and the pulmonary veins which receives oxygenated blood from the lungs after purification and if you see pulmonary arch which carries uh, pulmonary arteries we can call them as arteries which carries deoxygenated blood towards the lungs for purification anyway an artery which is a blood vessel which carries the blood away from the heart a vein which is a blood vessel which uses the blood towards the heart whether it is a pulmonary vein whether it is inferior vena cava or superior vena cava whatever it is it is a blood vessel which receives the blood towards the heart coronary vein which collects the deoxygenated blood from heart muscles towards the right auricle coronary arteries which carries oxygenated blood to the heart muscles and the heart is made up of some special muscles called cardiac muscles these are called cardiac muscles a branch of science that deals with the cardiac muscles is called cardiology a specialist in the study of heart muscles is or heart related parts is cardiologist okay Cardiology, a branch of science that deals with the study of heart. Cardiologist who is specialist in certain, certain kind of study of internal parts or internal heart, external heart, its morphology. Clear students, this is about the heart or heart related parts and their structure. Right auricle receives oxys, deoxygenated blood from superior and inferior vena cava and coronary veins. And if uh, you see the left auricle receives oxygenated blood from pulmonary veins and left ventricle also receives oxygenated blood from left auricle. Right ventricle receives deoxygenated blood from right auricle. This is the way how all the chambers of the heart generally functioning and all the blood vessels which are functioning in a proper 
So the heart rate it's completely differ and uh, it will it will be vary from person to person. It's based upon the person. So this is about uh, our today's concept called external heart. Students, we'll meet in the next session once again. Until thank you. Stay tuned. Have a brightful day.